Hello Power BI Professionals! In this video, we will create this and must to be applied visualization in your dashboard. This visualization is almost similar to a 100% stacked bar chart. However, the labels are on top of the actual bars. And before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. First thing you need to do is to add visual to the canvas. Usually the suggested visual is a column graph or a table. Then add values of x-axis and y-axis. And feel free to resize the size of the visual. For this example, we will change the visual to a 100% stacked bar chart. You will notice that Power BI automatically place each data to correct axis. Now, instead of putting segment category in your y-axis, we will put it under small multiples field. And Power BI divide your data points based on every category. In the next part, we will set the properties and format of the visual so it won't be divided into multiple grid. Now, to change the format of the small multiples, go to the visual format pane, select small multiples, then change rows to 5, then column to 1. And we will add year values to create comparison of year by segment by percentage. And instead of showing the lowest possible value at the start of the chart, we will reverse it by going x-axis, then turn on invert range. This way, the first value shown will be the highest possible aggregated values available. From here, we will focus in finalizing the formats and properties of the visual. First, go to size and style. Adjust the padding by 15 pixels in left, top, right, bottom of the visuals. Change the background as well to white. Second step, go and turn on title. Change the font type, color, and size. Don't forget to do the same in subtitle by adding specific text, changing type, color, and size that is not bigger than the title. Third step, go to x-axis, turn of the title. Then we will turn off the whole x-axis to make our visuals simpler without putting too much information. Turn off legends as well. Go back to small multiple visual formatting, change the font type, color, and size. You can also change the horizontal divider line color or select none under grid lines. Finally, go to bars, under spacing, lower down inner padding, then increase minimum category width to 36 pixels. With this format, you will notice that the bars covered bigger white spaces inside the visuals. Don't forget to change the color of the bars. Then turn on the data labels for easier visibility. Feel free to adjust any formats and properties in the visuals to suit your needs. We hope you got something from this video. If you're new to this channel, you can also watch other existing videos to help you in your Power BI journey. And, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you will be notified for any new releases.